Okay, poodle ears. Um, this is Novella again, and we are going to um, comb her ears. And just some quick tips that, that I can help you with is when you have those really heavy poodle ears, make sure if you want to get rid of some bulk, you can take your undercoat rake and gently pull through the poodle ear and you will get tons and tons of dead coat out. All right. And this will prevent matting and it'll also, come on Novella, quit. Good girl. Good girl. It'll also help lay those ears down so they don't look like the dog stuck their finger in a light socket. The other thing to do is to take and you can comb it down and you can use scissors if you would like or one of my favorite things to do so that it doesn't look so harsh is I like to take a clipper hold the hair between my finger and take a clipper and trim it and you see it looks pretty nice I lost one tail when she pulled her head back but that was it so I'm going to come in here and just snip off that little edge if you want to check your work you can fan it out this way and look okay and just look for that little tag so when the ear folds everything falls into place now how do you know how long to let those ears grow stand baby one thing I don't ever like to do I don't ever like to see the ears lower than the point of shoulder right here um, because it, it drags them down if you ever see a poodle and you go wow look at that poodle's ears it's probably a sign that they're a little too long and they need to be cut but that's a nice trick for you um, another way to cut them and I'm not going to do it to her only because you know they're a nice length now is you can hold it between your fingers and come above your fingers with your scissors and cut but you're not going to get that soft finish that I did with the clippers so poodle ears thanks <laughs>